Welcome to Getting Started with Studio Artist 5. This first Getting Started video will cover the basics of Getting Started with Studio Artist and the Paint Action Sequence presets. The second Getting Started video will show you the basics of Auto, Assisted, and Manual Painting and Drawing in the Paint Synthesizer mode, plus a brief tour of the other main Image Effects modes in Studio Artist. When you first launch Studio Artist, you will see several open windows and a canvas. All these windows can be moved to different locations and saved, but for now we will keep them this way. The window to the right is the Help window, and it has different pages. You can get to the different pages of Help by clicking the index. You can always access these Getting Started videos through this Help window, and you can also get to all the other training videos through this video tutorial link, or you can just log on to Synthetic.com. This is the preset window on the left. Studio Artist launches with the Paint Action Sequence mode presets loaded. Paint Action Sequence presets are scripts that combine all the different types of image effects modules in Studio Artist, such as painting, the vectorizer, image filter effects, etc., into one preset. You can get to the Paint Action Sequence mode as well as all the other modes through this drop down menu. Paint Action Sequences can be simple or they can be complex. And of course you can make your own, or edit ours to use on your own images. Let's try one to see what happens. Studio Artist is using the source image up here in the same way an artist uses a model. You can watch the paint action sequence go through all the steps here. This area here will also help you know that Studio Artist is processing. You can always stop the paint action sequence by pressing the space bar. All of Studio Artist's presets are arranged by collection and categories. Right now we are in the Still Art Paint Action Sequence Scripts collection with the General Examples category currently selected. As you can see, there are several specialized categories in this current collection. There is also a Movies collection for auto rotoscoping and video effects that are discussed in other video tutorials, and it also has several categories of presets. You can watch a Getting Started with Movies tutorial on our website, or if you scroll down the Help window, you will find it here. When you are finished looking at the general examples, you can pick another category to check out. There are a lot of presets to keep you busy, and also to give you an idea of all the different kinds of artistic styles Studio Artists can do. And remember, all of the presets that come with Studio Artist are completely user-editable. Our extensive editor gives you complete control over the look and feel of Studio Artist so that you can create your own artistic styles. If you want to try your own images, choose File, New Source and Canvas, and then choose an image to bring into the source area. Studio Artist will change the aspect ratio of the canvas to match your image and to fit on your screen. You may have to drag your workspace to make the canvas fit, or you can minimize or enlarge the canvas with zoom in and out buttons. You can always enlarge the canvas whenever you want to print or if you want to do HD or 4K movies. Before you start exploring the Paint Action Sequence presets, I want to tell you about a new feature in Studio Artist 5 that makes it much easier instead of having to press the Action button every time you want to run a preset. On Mac, hold down the Command key. On Windows, this will be the Control key, and then click on a preset. This makes it much easier to try a lot of different presets. And remember, you can press the space bar to stop the paint action sequence from running at any time. Also, be aware that some steps in a paint action sequence may take more time than others. You can always see if Studio Artist is processing by looking down at the bottom right corner of the interface. Have fun checking out the paint action sequence presets, and then when you are ready, watch the next Getting Started video, where you will learn how to use your own images as well as a brief tour of the different modes, including painting and drawing, so that you can start mixing and matching effects to make your own looks. Please be sure to also check out all the other training videos on the Synthetic website.